Hello, beautiful Pisces. Welcome into my channel, Miss Remy. Sorry, I just started channeling to me. Welcome to my channel, Miss Remy Healings. My name is Reem. This is your spiritual growth reading, and then I do a separate video focused on your romantic love life. Okay, sorry. They're already channeling to me. Um, usually, I like I get through my introduction. But um, I feel like things are, I feel like you're in the midst of something. You're in the midst of something that you cannot exactly put your finger on. You can't under, like it, it's chaotic. You can't quite understand it. it. It also feels like a lot of energies, they, they exit, they leave just as fast as they come in. Like it's a very chaotic energy. I feel like I feel like this is a healing force though. I feel like this is to remove things out of your life that just need to be gone, whether these are um, old emotions, okay, baggage that you're holding on to, maybe you're holding on to things from the past. Maybe you're holding on to fear, maybe you're holding on to old belief systems. Maybe you're holding on to old narratives. We've been talking about narratives and kind of like rewriting a new story for ourselves. Um, I feel like there's these mental thoughts that you're having that discourage you. And I feel like that's been uh, a burden for you, causing you anxiety, maybe causing you even depression, sadness. I feel like New Year's for you was kind of like uh, not that great of an importance for some of you. I don't know why this is coming out, but I'm just going to say what they're channeling to me. It feels like a run on, like a run on sentence, like 2020, 2021. It's just like a run on. There was no like division. There was no end and a beginning, you know, it just kind of felt like, well, I feel the same way that I felt in 2020 kind of thing. You know, it's like, you're really looking for a a change you're really looking for that division of the end and the beginning but i feel like you're in the midst of it okay you're in the in-between is what i call it that kind of energy but it feels really chaotic for you um so things will come together okay things will things will come together uh one more shuffle and then let's get into this we're beautiful Pisces Sun moon rising in Venus thank you spirit of the most high yeah rescue <laughs> oh number 16 spirit is helping you some of you may feel really really alone like what is happening what is going on I didn't feel a change from 2020 to 2021 like am I the only one it's like you're looking for a division you're looking for that end and then feeling this newness right but it's like you don't feel that and it's it's frustrating it's annoying it's uh you feel lonely it's like everyone is celebrating 2021 and you're just kind of like mm, why don't i feel that so spirit is here rescuing you okay this is divine intervention okay um i want to get I want to get one more. This is 16, which is 7, which is divinity. So, yes, this is divine intervention. I feel like, see, you go somewhere in your mind. You go somewhere in your mind that, like, uh, is hard to come back from for some of you. Okay, so spirit is rescuing you out of there. You're stuck somewhere in your mind. Oh, they said there's no more okay okay well at the bottom of that i stopped and it's heal the ouch number 38 which is uh eight nine ten eleven master number 11. i'm gonna keep it at the bottom they said no more but i stopped there you could be like psychologically you are making yourself feel ill okay like stress we feel physical symptoms because of stress, anxiety. We feel physical symptoms when we have anxiety. Okay, spirit is here. spirit is here, getting you out of the place that you got stuck in. Okay, whether I feel like this is mentally 
and emotionally. For some of you, this could be spiritually. Okay, uh, maybe you guys are doing shadow work and you... I'm not saying that you got stuck in shadow work, but a lot of things started to come up for you that um, you're having trouble <clears throat> letting go of. Excuse me. Okay, this is... A This is the Animal Spirit Oracle deck and they want to talk quite quickly. <laughs> so you do have here Bobcat, Bobcat Spirit, Life is a Mystery, and Brown Bear Spirit, Take Time Out. Yes, so you have here 8-9. You could also be born in the year 89 is what they're telling me. You also have here 7-8-9 because this is 16 which also reduces to 7. 7-8-9, seven, you could be seeing sequential numbers. You are progressing forward. Okay, this is... This is just your process. And again, healing does not have a process. Shadow work does not have a process. Life does not have a process. This is your experience. This is your own journey. And you are progressing the way that you are progressing. And it's a little chaotic. And that's okay. That's okay. You got stuck? That's okay. We all get stuck. Okay, but here spirit is rescuing you, intervening. They're saying life is a mystery, life is unknown. I feel like, I honestly feel like you guys went into the unknown. You went into the unknown and I feel like you got a little lost. Got, you got a little lost. I'm not saying you took a wrong turn, took a wrong turn, excuse me. I feel like you just, you got lost here, here, in your mind or in your heart. You went somewhere that um, you didn't like to go and you got stuck, okay? But they're saying life will get better. Life is a mystery. Life is filled with possibilities, endless, possibili endless possibilities, okay? You're going to see really mysterious things happening, okay? Like you're going to be witnessing them, like things... Uh, it's just it's spirit okay it's like it's outside of you okay and this is also saying is trust in the great mystery life is unfolding mysteriously as well and just trusting that this take the time out with the brown bear spirit number nine that says hermit energy you could have virgo in your chart you don't have to have virgo in your chart but i'm just saying that for those of you that do um if you resonate with that um but this is finding your strength this is finding your strength finding your personal power oh I just got the chills finding your personal power one more shuffle I feel like so funny because I I was drinking wine on New Year's I love wine and uh, the bottle of the wine is don't poke the bear don't poke the bear <laughs> and this is like you it's almost like you're warning other people like don't po don't poke me right now don't don't come at me don't speak to me it's like you really need to, I don't know if you're on edge or you feel really aggressive or you feel really impulsive maybe you're being really short with others but it's like during this time out during your hibernation um it's just like you need set those healthy boundaries so people don't bother you okay it's it's very important because i know that when i'm in that place of like i need to take my time out if someone you know bothers me out of you know not like ill will but just to you know say hi or check in I get annoyed because I want to be left alone but I know they're doing it out of love okay it's just kind of that thing that that kind of thing excuse me um this is also like don't rush your process don't rush your process and try not to focus so much on other people and their process or like where they are um I don't know if some of you kind of like compare okay Hi Priestess, 
beautiful let's get your cards out I was, yeah, you got stuck here. And that's okay. We, we do. We, we all get stuck. We all get stuck. Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. Justice. This is interesting. Wow. Five again. Five of Pentacles. Five of Swords. This is ten. This is what's changing. Okay, the scarce consciousness, these self-sabotaging thoughts, uh, eight of cups, yeah, belief systems, what you believe about yourself, good, six of swords, Some of you are moving and you're moving impulse, not impulsively, but it's like, uh, it's going to be just something that you didn't expect. Wow. Another five. <laughs> uh, the sun underneath that is beautiful. Okay, so with so I want to point out that I talk about this often. See how there's like this this version of yourself, and then there's this version of yourself. Okay. You also have here this light energy and this dark energy. And then with the moon, you also have this light and this dark energy. Three times this is depicted. And as soon as the High Priestess card came out, it's what I felt first. And these cards are just kind of confirming that energy where you have been suppressing your dark side. Now, your dark side is not your shadow. Your shadow is not your dark. There's a really big difference and this gets misconstrued so much in the spiritual community. Your shadow is a, is a projection of your inner wounds, right? The shadow is a projection of your inner wounds. But the darkness is a beautiful primordial energy that we have in the universe that is holding all of these planets together chaotically so but it is a very powerful potent energy that holds the entirety of the universe together and i feel like you have been suppressing excuse me you're, you're you've been suppressing your dark side because you were told or a lot of us actually get told even myself that it's just all light and love and yes it is all light and love but it is also darkness i feel like you have been so kind to people that they have taken your kindness for granted and the universe is saying step into your personal power here with the bear spirit Step into your personal power. Step into your darkness. Put those boundaries up. And I'm not saying be mean, but I'm saying be stern. You can say 
don't treat me like that. That's the Lilith energy. That's goddess Isis energy. That's goddess Kali Ma energy. I'm getting chills because they're here in this room. Step into your personal power, light and dark, because we are all both. You were so kind to people that they took advantage of you and you thought that's okay. I mean, it's not okay, but I don't want, I don't want to, I don't want to express that that hurt me or, you know, I don't want to set these boundaries. They just need healing. I'll just be nice, you know, like kill them with kindness, of course. You know, we don't, we never want to be rude. I'm not saying be rude, I'm not saying be mean, but I'm saying be stern. Set your healthy boundaries. Set them. Say no. Say you hurt me or I'm not accepting that. This is your internal justice. Yourself is looking for justice from yourself. You've hidden your true personal power from yourself because you believed that light and love was was the way it's light love and darkness and if you don't agree with me that's okay you don't have to but this is what is coming out for you from spirit from these goddesses from my own experience as well and i'm relaying this message to you because i know that someone is going to say oh I was taken advantage of. I didn't want to set those healthy boundaries because I didn't want to come across rude. I wanted to be really nice. I wanted to help this person heal or these people heal. And in turn, you only hurt yourself, honey. Now, spirit needs to rescue you. I'm getting so emotional because it's just like, this whole time, I was trying to do the right thing. My, it's like your intention. You were just trying to do the right thing. You didn't want to hurt anyone. You didn't want to be rude. You didn't want to put anybody, you know, down or in their place. Or you didn't, you know, you just wanted to be kind. You wanted to be peaceful, all light and love. And that's beautiful. That's perfect. We need that. We need that in this world. But we also need people to say, no, that's not okay. What you're doing to me or what you, what, what you're, that the way you're talking to me, that's not okay. It's about stepping into your personal power and that is both light and love and darkness. Your life is going to change once you step into your personal power because you're not going to be dealing with BS. You're not going to be dealing with that anymore. And I feel like this is what they were saying about this like run-on theme, this run-on from 2020 to 2021. It's like, you're like, well, everyone is celebrating but me. You will celebrate. Because now you're going to go to the beat of your own drum. You're going to feel free. You cannot suppress your darkness. It's just, it's a big no-no. And there's so many people that do that. And that's how people get hurt. Because they don't set those healthy boundaries. Because they don't say it to someone, that's not okay. What you're doing to me is not okay. Because you don't want to hurt the other person's feelings. Or you don't want to come across like a, a biatch or, you know, a... a jerk or something like that but that's not you're not being rude you're being true to yourself you're trapping yourself and spirit is here intervening you have so many fives you literally have five 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 This is five, five, five. Five of Pentacles, five of Swords, five of Cups. (sighs) 
And the only one here is, the only one missing is the Five of Wands. Because that Five of Wands, that's like fighting with people, which you've done. Now this is an internal battle with yourself. Look, you're the only one. You're the only one. All because you thought that you were doing the right thing. And you were. You were. It's just you didn't know that you were hurting yourself in that process. We need to step into our personal power. And we need to help others step into their personal power. This is what you're moving into. This is your transition. The Queen of Swords. See how the Queen of Swords has the, the cup here? And it's caged. This here, spirit wants to say, just because other people were cold to you, you don't need to take on that energy. You don't need to be cold in return. I'm not saying be cold. Okay, so they're saying, when try not to, you know, just because someone else was cold to you, you don't need to be cold. You can be your loving and, and light self. Just make sure that you also embrace your darkness and stand up for your personal power and put those healthy boundaries up. So I feel like these are healthy boundaries around your heart now. Okay, but don't let anyone take your beautiful loving self away. Don't give anyone that kind of power. You're going to get karmic justice. Okay, I, well, you did talk about how this is like your internal justice. Like your yourself is looking for, for justice from yourself. Yes. But this is also going to be um, justice from the universe. Okay, this is karma. Karmic justice. So this is, a, this is like give and take. Okay, the, the universe will be generous to you. The, the universe is always generous to us. It's a matter of our perception of it. What do we perceive as generosity from the universe? Some people perceive generosity from the universe as lack or scarce, but hey, that's just their perspective. So it's about how do you perceive generosity from the universe? Look at the things that you have instead of the things that you don't have. You're going to have a really big enlightenment moment. Okay, here with the hanged man. Okay. And then a lot of things are going to be healed. Yes, with the sun. Look at this. Look at the seven of swords underneath that. See, that's the BS that you're no longer dealing with. You're going to see right through people. And here, life is a mystery with the moon and the bobcat spirit. Because it is a mystery. It's a wonderful mystery your mystery keep a little mystery for some people you know i feel like again here with like the knight of pentacles your journey has been has been a long one i feel it has been long but again it's your process it's your process a lot of things are going to come to light for you. A lot of things are going to be um, surrounded in, in, in the light. Okay, things are going to come to the surface. Things are going to come to the light. You're going to see things clearer. You're going to see yourself clearer. You're going to be embracing all of you, light and dark. And that's where you're going to find that mystery. It's an infinite mystery.
filled with possibilities. What are these possibilities? Well, then it wouldn't be a mystery if I say it, right? They won't even channel it to me. They're just saying embrace that aspect of life. Okay, because it's within you. Um, this was your reading. Uh, you can invoke these goddesses to help you. Goddess Isis, Goddess Kalima, Goddess Lilith. Okay. They will help you seek your personal power. Okay. Spirit is rescuing you. Okay, allow them allow them surrender okay i love you guys so very much i'm gonna go ahead and do your spiritual um not your spiritual your romantic love life reading